Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habits, and today I'm in the shed, which stands for Seeking a Harvest, Evangelistically Deliberate. I had an encounter with someone recently who um, who had a very chaotic life and was desperate to change and wanted that to happen and was kind of reaching out in part uh, for that help, but perhaps wasn't ready for that help. They were they were they were ready for change, but not ready for Jesus. And of course, Jesus is the the author of change in life and transformation. And uh, they went away and I felt unsettled and you think, did I do the right things? Did I did I get it right? But I, I also felt that perhaps sometimes the unsettlement that we feel or encounter when we've when we've met people who are not don't yet, yet know Jesus, but who are seeking is us mirroring what's in their heart. That unsettledness, that chaos, the waters of chaos in their own churning uh, hearts. And uh, I read this morning um, from the one year Bible, Isaiah 57 uh, verses 20 to 21 these words but those who still reject me are like the restless sea which is never still but continually churns up mud and dirt there is no peace for the wicked says my god and i felt like that in some ways captured what was going on in this man's heart that there was this restless sea there never still churning up the mud and the dirt uh, and not allowing peace to to rest and it reminded me of of some thoughts I've had recently, you know, the wonderful story of Noah, Noah's uh, sending out the dove over the waters of chaos looking for land and how the dove kept coming back to him but eventually bought an olive branch and finally didn't return at all and, uh, and Noah knew that there's land ahoy. And uh, that's echoed in the baptism of Jesus as the dove comes to rest, rest on Jesus who is emerging from the waters of the River Jordan and, and also um, I think echoed through Jesus' instructions for the sending out of the 72 that they should say peace to this house when they enter a house and if the peace come if it comes back to them then they know to move on but if not they found a person of peace whom god has already been at work in and who will be receptive to the gospel and that's a really helpful metaphor as we as we reflect on how to reach out to people to not beat ourselves up if the if the dove comes back to us we feel unsettled for a while until the peace returns um but to be uh, be looking for that olive branch that glimpse that actually god has moved that person on or done something in their lives so as so that christ is emerging in them because then we connect the spirit in our hearts connects with uh, the holy spirit's work in their life with the, the G, with jesus emerging from the waters of chaos in their in their hearts and i felt for this particular individual he wasn't there yet the, the dove came back to me as it were and uh, but i pray that uh, the witness that we give might be uh, as it were uh, sediment that falls into the water and uh, and contributes to the emergence of Christ in their lives and we don't know that and so we should have peace about that and just leave that in the Lord's hands but hope that help is a helpful metaphor and, and a way to start thinking about our evangelism in terms of the ministry of the Holy Spirit and his influence of peace it's desperately needed by people around us whose inward worlds churns like a restless sea